What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in this video we're going to talk about an extension that allows you to generate faces from contours. And before I get started I do want to take a second and thank my newest supporter on Patreon, George Crawford. Um, Patreon, as you know, is the crowdfunding support website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider checking out that link in the notes below. Um, one of the perks of being a member of my Patreon page is that you can vote on the extension that we cover every week in these overview videos. So in this this week's video, we're gonna talk about an extension that allows you to create faces from contours. So this week's extension is called Topo Shaper. Plugin name, Topo Shaper. Plugin developer, Fredo6. Plugin cost, it's free. Please remember to donate to your developer. Where can you get it? You can download it from the Sketchication Extension Store. I've also linked to it in the notes down below. Tool Functions Topo Shaper is an extension that is designed to generate terrains from two different kinds of input, contours and points. Generation of faces from contours is a step-by-step -step process. In step one, you clean up and set up your contours. This process allows you to fix problems with your contours. As you can tell, this extension does some of that automatically. The areas in red are areas where Topo Shaper has filled in the blanks in your contours. In addition, you can right click on a contour and select exclude to exclude a contour from your mesh generation. Step two gives you a preview of what your topography is going to look like. You can adjust your grid spacing and the way the extension handles any hills in this step. Step three is where your actual mesh is generated. In this step, you can set if you want to include or exclude the skirt around the edge of the topography, whether you want to include your 2D contour map, which seems to work better if you turn the skirt off. You can also set if your map comes in above or below your 3D map, and you can adjust if altitude labels get included by clicking on altitude labels. When generating meshes from contours, Topo Shaper generates quad meshes. In addition to generating meshes from contours, Topo Shaper can also create meshes from point clouds. In order to do this, it starts by calculating a base rectangle, meaning a rectangle that fits the size and location of the points above. You can adjust the location and generation of this rectangle in the contours option. You can walk through the process of generating the terrain step by step by clicking the right arrow, or you can just jump to the end of the process by clicking the auto calculation button. You can choose whether or not to include contours by selecting ISO contours, as well as having the ability to set the contour spacing. The skirt is fully adjustable and can be turned on and off. As you can see, this is a great extension for generating surfaces from contours or from objects like CAD files. There are some things that you may want to do to clean up meshes that we may cover in another video if there's enough interest, so leave a comment below and let me know if that's something you're interested in. That's where we're going to end today's video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you like this extension? Do you have some good ideas for how to use this? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.